Hello and welcome to this video. My name's Hayden McLennan and in this video I'm going to show you the setup and configuration of my new network in my sleep out office bedroom thing. So like I said I'm going to show you the configuration and new networking setup in this room. This room's my office part but it also serves as uh, the hub of you know networking for this room which is also my bedroom. So I'll show you setting up my new switch which is the TP-Link TLSG 1016 de that's a mouthful, that's what she said. I'm going to show you setting that up and plugging in the cables to my Wi-Fi access point, my computer and printer and all that sort of stuff with my new Cat6 cables. And I just thought I should show you guys what's going on, the new setup and all that because I know some of you who subscribe to this channel like watching that sort of stuff and I know it does help you. Alright, here you go. Enjoy. Radio, it's time for the old network upgrade. What do we have for the network upgrade? I think I probably would have said this in the intro, but I have this TP-Link gigabit switch. It is uh, web managed, which will be awesome when I get this all plugged in. What else do we have here? We have a new patch lead for my computer. It's Cat6, so therefore there will be no bottlenecks on my network anymore. I don't think there was to begin with, but yeah, anyway. Uh, yeah, that's about it, I think, for my network upgrade. And then what we have on the switch at the moment, which is an Allied Telesis 10100 switch. I have the internet coming in, then I have my access point, then I have my printer, then I have my computer. But I am probably going to run a couple of network drops around my room with, uh, I have five of these 3 meter Cat6 cables. So there you go, there's a bit of a uh, better view of the switch setup I have there now. I will do a better overview of my, oh, I'll show you the switch more when I have it out. So here's a better look at the current switch I have in there. It's a 10 100, 24 port. Allied Telsis. Quite a nice switch to be honest. Quite solidly built. About as heavy as my new 16 port. The reason I am changing everything out is because, well I'm going to be upgrading to Gigabit which is pretty cool. And I also want to put my switch in a different spot. So I will do that as well. So, let's change the patch lead on my computer. So this is basically a Cat6 cable. Category 6, uh, up to 10G speeds, all the reusual stuff. So hopefully this is long enough. That would suck if it wouldn't, if it doesn't. That should just reach. I knew my measuring was there. So I will switch this out. So this is basically going to come around like that. So that's why I wanted these high quality cables. They're rather expensive too. So, yeah. We have the internet. We have the internet coming in. Then we have the access point. Then we have printer. Then we have my main computer. So let me get the power sorted out to my new switch. I think I have a longer C13 lead somewhere around here because the one that's there currently won't reach. There we have it. It's going to be its new permanent home. There we go. So let's plug Oh god, I hate cables. So let's plug Network into number 16. Now let's plug my main computer into number 1. Sweet, gigabit, nice. Right, what's next? My access point. Intro last. Printer. And, come yeah, on. Access point. Is that it? Bloody hope so. <laughs> so there we go. So let's have a look at things that aren't running at Gigabit. The two things that aren't my computer. Cool. Alright. Time to log into this sucker. Wow. That sucked. So much. Oh my god. I hate troubleshooting sometimes. But hey, I love it. It's real fun when shit works. I got into the web interface. Yes. TP-Link, thank you for including the CD. The software you include with that 
is a bloody godsend. This is the TP-Link uh, Easy Smart Configuration Utility, and it picks up on the switches in your network, and it gives you the IP, MAC address, and located IP on the network. Oh my god, that is awesome, I love it, it works so good, I could redo the IP address because uh, .0 wouldn't work with my network because we have a .1 network here. Ah, yay, it finally worked. So I can log in, I changed the username and password to administrator, and here we have the system configuration thing page. Along the side we have all your shiz there. We have system, VLAN, and all that sort of stuff. System. Under here you have a lot, all of them. I, I probably won't use half of this shit. I'll probably, I might use uh, VLANs every now and again. So let's sum up. Today I got five of these. These are 3 meter Cat6 Dynamics patch leads. I got uh, two two meter patch leads for my servers. I didn't tell you this, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to color code everything. All the computers are blue, all the printers are gray, and all the servers are yellow. And the access points will probably be black just because that's what worked out because I had a HP patch lead and I just put that on my access point. So it matches in with all the other cables. So what I'm going to do is I am going to run one of these later on today. I'll run it around to where that desk I have that I use occasionally is set up. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So yeah, summing up, switch, patch leads network thingy physical setup done redone do you need a web server game server or even team speak server but don't have the resources why don't you try vps soldiers a vps or virtual private server is an operating system you can install and configure on a server in a different country or residence that you can use for your web server game server team speak server or basically anything else you can access over the net VPS Soldiers offers competitive plans and pricing and I'm sure there is a plan there right for you. So go to www.vpssoldiers.net for your VPS hosting today. So there you go, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, leave a like, that shows me and YouTube that I'm doing a good job. And also while you're there, leave a comment on what you thought of my, this style of video. You know, me setting up things and doing all that sort of stuff. Also hit subscribe, it helps me out a lot. Alright, thanks, bye bye.